Hello, this is Rat Elaine. I am here, and you are too. And I'm going to show you, this is really for my students, uh, how to make some simple graphs in Plotly and to find um, a best fit line. Okay, so I made up some fake data here. I have uh, distance, I have time, and then I have the uncertainty in the time, which I call DT. You could call it whatever you want. And I just made up some random values like that. Okay, so that's all I've done so far, and you just get that up here. Um, when you go to new, let's see if I click it, new, grid, that brings you right here. You, you probably, I'm not signed in. You should probably sign in, make an account. You can share it. You can save it. It's better, but you do what you want. Okay, so now I want to make uh, a graph of this. I need to make a scatter plot. So over here, I change this to scatter plot. That's not so hard, huh? Now I want to choose uh, what is my x and what's my y value. Um, if I, in this case, I said I'm the fake experiment was I let a car go different distances and I timed it. So this was my uh, this is my independent variable. So I put it as x. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, I did change these names up here to something just so you can see what they are. That's not a bad idea. Okay, now I want to also include error bars, and so I want to plot this data dt on here too. So over here, I click error bars and you'll notice that it added another column see if I let me say here what if I wanted to plot this as X well I could click that and it turns it off and it turns it on over there turn that off turn it on over there see it's not so hard but I want I want this to be my X so I'm going to put that there now you see I have these other columns here EX is the error bars in the X direction oops sorry and EY is the Y error bars. So I want DT as the Y, that's the Y value. I want that as the Y error bar. That simple. Now I click scatter plot. Boom. That's it. So it's got, I can, I got all this stuff here. I've got distance. I've got time. I've got my error bars. And when you mouse over, it tells you the value of those uh, data points. And you can change this, uh, this is a, I've only have one series here, so it's not really important. Let's just turn that off. So up here I have legend. I can click hide. Boom, it's gone. Okay. If you really are uh, into changing stuff around, uh, you can you can change the, what it looks like. You can change the style. Uh, play with this all you want. Um, but I'm just not going to do that because I don't really care. But I do care about a best fit line. Let's say this is, I want this to be a linear function. So I go up here to fit data. And this is my trace is called time. You could have more than one, but I click add trace. Now, I want a linear function, something like a plus b times x. That's a line. You could change this to uh, a polynomial for a quadratic fit. That's something we will do. Um, you can make up your own function here, too. But, but I'm not going to do that. So here's make up your own function. So I'm just going to click run this fit. And so you'll see here, what happened over here? Let's see, let me click over here. Oh, 0.51. Okay, that, that was kind of crazy. I meant to say 5.1. Let's just change this. Let's say, let's cancel this. Let's do... 5.1. Okay. Now I need to get rid of it. I don't know if I refresh this plot. Let's just get rid of it. And let's make a new plot. Okay, that's better. Now I go back over here, fit data, add trace, uh, run fit, and there, that looks better. Now the other thing I want to do is click this add results to plot annotation so I can remember it. There you go. So you can actually move this around if you want. Um, put it right there. You can move this around if you want. Uh, you can make a title. This is my plot. Okay. Um, now, let's just change this one little bit. This is the uh, coefficient of, uh, of fit, right? So if it's one, to be a perfect fit. So it's a good fit. Uh, let's change this uh, equation right here. You see this, if you're not familiar with... Um, HTML. This is in HTML, but I don't want my y variable is not y. It's t. So I can say t, and then x is x. 
But there, isn't that better? So now my slope is 10.8. Um, now, <clears throat> what would I get from this? I could get the velocity. Uh, now, this velocity, this is not the uh, the velocity right there. Okay, this is the seconds per meter. So one over this would be the velocity. You got to be careful about that when you're plotting. But if you if you write this like that, you can see that that's what it'd be. If, now, if I had time along this axis and distance along this axis, the slope would be the velocity. Okay, but anyway, you can get that data from here. There's your first graph. Okay, one more thing, share. Uh, you, can't, you can't really share, but you can make it a, a public file. It will give you a link. Let's say, my stuff. Let's see if you'll let me make your file public. Okay, I want you to sign in. So you have to sign in to share it. But there you go. That's your first graph. These are the things you're looking for right here. And, and if you want to go back and find the uncertainty in these values, which it has, go back to fit data and then view edit. And then it actually gives you the uncertainty in the fit parameters too, which are useful too. There you go. Your first graph. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Go forth and make some awesome stuff.